Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cereal Snob. My name is Thomas and today we're reviewing Strawberry Cheerios, their limited edition. I know you're excited, so let's go right into it, okay? Check it out. I've got cereal on my mind every day and night. With cereal by my side, the whole world feels right. All right, so General Mills is following up the previous iterations of Cheerios with a new Strawberry Cheerios. You'll see the box is super bright white, super clean design, very bright reds and colors. You'll see it's just about two and a half inches wide, which I'm super impressed by because it ends up getting about 595 grams in there, which is about 10 and a half real world servings. Now you'll see on the back, also super clean like the front, it says here it's strawberry season. It's something they want you to know that only happens around the spring. Strawberries don't grow in the winter and they're not kidding around. By August, these are gonna be off the shelves. These are supposed to smell like strawberries. Let's see if it lives up to its name. Yeah, the strawberry is there. It's undeniably Cheerios, like, but if Cheerios were somehow in a strawberry field. Here we are in my treehouse. I want to give the limited edition strawberry Cheerios a real world kind of taste. It's really easy to smell good in a controlled environment in that studio, but how does it work in the real world? Well, if you're thinking about eating these, this cereal in the tree, let me tell you how it smells in the tree. Smells exactly the same as it did inside. I think we're good. Now, as I'm pouring this bowl, what I'm realizing is these look very much like regular Cheerios, except they have a really pink hue to them. I got them right here on some white paper so you can see how pink they really are. Same shape as the previous Cheerios. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't uh, spice up the design for this time around, but you know what? If it's not broken, don't fix it, right? But here they are. They're very pink, they're very oaty. One of my favorite things about the limited edition strawberry Cheerios is they're fully compatible with all types of milk and or liquid. Um, I have 2% milk as I do with my traditional Cheerios. They totally work with this, but so does almond, cashew, peanut milk, coconut milk. If you have soy lent, you wanna put protein shakes in here, maybe you just want water, orange juice, chocolate milk, wine, whiskey, tequila, toilet water. I mean, you name it. This is fully compatible with all liquids. I think General Mills did a really smart thing by making that decision. All right, so the milk pours in this thing. Oh, look at that. Just like you would expect, it pours in like any other regular cherry. Oops, hey, hey, well, you got an overboard, but hey, you know what? You can't always plan for that. But it is poured and it is good. We wanna go ahead and get our first infield test of the cereal right now with the milk and see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my first bite. You know, at first taste, these taste a whole lot like very strawberry Cheerios. The strawberry kind of fades away pretty quickly, but then you get that milk washing in there, and it's like the milk amplifies the strawberry flavor in a way that's really, really good. Now, one thing I did notice halfway through this bowl is that you'll see in the middle of the bowl here, there's just look regular looking Cheerios. That's not something I mixed. The strawberry literally just washes off because it's like a spray tan type of flavor, and uh, that makes your milk taste really good. All right, everyone, I'm going for the last bite right here, all the Cheerios, this is for the money, just to make sure if this really is milk resistant like they thought or complimentary with the milk, fully compatible. You understand what I'm saying? Well, so there really are some minor crunches there, but super minor, these get kind of soggy like all the other Cheerios. I guess General Mills hasn't improved upon that, and that's fine. The coating here isn't exactly what you want, but you know what, still a good cereal, and if you eat it fast enough, um, it's still worthwhile. Of course, one of the most important things is, is the milk after their... <sighs> okay, side note, the cereal makes you burp. Milk cereal makes you burp, okay? Keep that in mind. If you're thinking about buying limited edition strawberry Cheerios, you're probably gonna burp a couple of times. Now, the milk right here is, is the really last test that we can put this through just to make sure if it's up to Cheerio standards. I'm gonna go ahead and go bowls deep and let you guys know what I think. All right, that strawberry flavor, it's there. You can taste it as soon as it's in your mouth, and things are really, really good. I think if you go pick this up right now, you don't need to pre-order it. It's already available in most stores, right? But the milk, I would give it two thumbs up. Tastes like strawberry milk, strawberry and cream. Those things go together. It's like one of my favorite flavors. Mm. So at the end of the day, I think strawberry Cheerios are hands down my favorite strawberry cereal all time. Now, before I give it a score, I want to talk about the score I gave Frankenberry, which is a 4.25 back in October. I think I was a little generous with that one. If I could take it back, I'd give it like a 3.75. Because on a scale of zero to five, strawberry Cheerios, I think it's gonna get four. It deserves a four. It's good, not great, because it gets soggy, the, the milk washes everything out. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's still the best strawberry cereal I've ever had, and I hands down recommend, if you like strawberries, you gotta go try it. Go pick it up, it's gone in August. 
I want to come back at you real quick with a couple cereal combinations I recommend with strawberry Cheerios. I think they're great by themselves, but to be honest, they're actually better with these other two. First up, you got Golden Grams. Oh yeah, Golden Grams, bet you didn't even know about how good this stuff was when you mix it in. You put it in with those strawberry Cheerios, and besides looking like a great color scheme, you got flavor that savors, and oh man, they complement each other in a way where it's sweet, and it's sweet, and it's mmm. Now if you're a fan of strawberries and chocolate, you're gonna love this next one. It's strawberry Cheerios mixed with cookies and cream. Both cereals amazing by themselves, even better together. And when you mix that chocolate cookies and cream with the strawberries and the strawberry milk, oh my God, it's amazing. You guys try it out. I give both those combinations a five out of five. I promise I wouldn't recommend it if they weren't great. And if you guys, if you like this episode or you like this channel, remember to hit like, subscribe, and I will talk to you very, very soon. All right, have a good day, people. Bye.